Hey everybody, it's uh, day two of me in the crucible of this weekly recording because we're going to be away next week. You already know the vibe. Looks a little bit like this. You could get with this or you could get with that. You could get with this or you could get with that. Then I'm like, oh my God, how, how am I going to finish this joke? You could get with this or you could get with that. Because you could get with this because... How was that? Was that a good start to the video? No, my misophonia. I find it disgusting to hear people fart. Me too. That's why it's so funny. Listen, okay? We're starting off on an antagonistic foot. I'd like to apologize. I do do this. Uh, it's a little game I play with my daughter. Usually we're, we're in front of the Costco and I'm waiting for my wife to come out of the Costco food court. So I'm, I'm killing time with the baby. Well, she's like a toddler now, but anyway, I say, can I tell you a secret? And she already knows what's coming. And she turns her head so her ear is like pointed out. And then I get really close to her ear and I go. And then she goes, what? You farted. And I go, no, you farted. She goes, no, daddy farted. And I go, okay, daddy farted. It's just a little joke we do. I wouldn't recommend trying that on, on anybody that's like older than two. I feel like if you, like, saw your uncle for the first time in a long time, and you tried that on him, like, that might be <laughs> the last time you ever see your uncle. <laughs> You'd probably be like, what the heck do you think I am, two years old? Anyway, what am I talking about? Give me some of this. You know what, if we're, if we're running full baboon strats here, we might as well give it a little buff. We got a level coming up. I'm actually, I'm, I'm pleased with the way this run looks right now. I got no problems with the way this run looks right now. That's not ideal, but I already can tell you that our uh, our doorhead ant is going yard. Nice royal flycatcher. Okay, how about one of these? Now, level three, I think this is just a good unit. Level three is always a tough spot. You can get baboons that buff each other, and I think I would consider that okay. You could run a guinea fowl instead and, and try to get even more trumpets, I suppose. You know what? I would say I'm not opposed to that idea. Why don't we run meat up in the front? Need meat in the street and a freak in the bed? Wait, that's not how the song goes. What does Ludacris mean when he says, uh, when he says, I don't stop till I put him on foot patrol? What does that mean? I guess the song was before the invention of Uber. Straight ridiculous. Sorry, that was on, uh, it was on my Peloton ride like a couple days ago. It wasn't even today. It was like a couple days ago. I've been waiting, waiting to use it. You know what? I think it's probably time to unmoth me. And then we can get a dragonfly out here for some scaling potential. And then, I mean, th this is like a bit of a ramshackle crew right here. Like, it's a little weird. There's no overarching synergy except like a mild uh, trumpet synergy. But like the units that we have, they're doing great work just by themselves. And we're really like, th I, I've got to constantly remind myself that like the secret of the ooze here is I think if we just get to tier six with a lot of HP, baboons can carry us quite far. It's like, this is nice. You know what? I think I would rather, this is gonna sound crazy. I would rather sell you, guarantee that our buffs come out on a baboon and, and make a large baboon. I don't really wanna make a large guinea fowl I actually feel like the guinea fowl is like the most replaceable unit on the squad in Temporarium. Um, I don't know if that's really Latin, but you probably know what I mean. Temporarily would be the way that we would describe it in, in the Old English. They got a, a, quite the guinea fowl themselves. No denying that. I gotta be honest, you cleared me. Not by a ton, but you, you got me by enough to, to have me second guessing myself. But then again, I'm liking it. We're looking for tier sixes. I wouldn't. I would add this on you though. I think it's a nice little, it's a nice little just in case me. And then honestly, I think we'll probably buy different equipment for you, but for one round, sure, give me some meats. Give me some meats. Arby's, we got the meats. Now we're probably selling guinea fowl and also maybe door head ant to get a tier six out there at some point. But I feel like we have built a squad that is good stuff. Now is good stuff gonna be good enough? 
It's an interesting question. I guess we're going to find out over the next the, the, the intervening three and a half minutes or something like that. But right now, we're going to have three HP at the time that tier sixes come to exist. Oh, these are tier fives. <laughs> Who were you buffing? You were buffing the dragonfly that whole time, which means you now, you now buff the monkey, of course. Well, we don't have a tier three. For now, I think we just stack you. We could go cans as well. You're probably gone. So now tier five is getting, the monkey's getting buffed. We could send a scorpion out there, but it's not my style. And you, you'll notice I did things a little differently this time. I went for one dragonfly instead of uh, two dragonflies. It may come back to bite us or it may work out beautifully. I don't know yet. The, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is a blowing in the wind. Either way, I'm feeling fantastic about our prospects right now. Hammerhead Shark. I mean, it is free money. I feel like we could do better on tier sixes, but I also feel like you... Probably the Doorhead Ant is also gone anyway. I feel like we might as well send you out here to get some free gold. You know, start kickstarting my heart a little bit. And then I'm going fully psychotic mode. <laughs> At some point, I guess you're going to want this instead of me. I mean, this is a... If you could manufacture a run for yourself, it would not look like this. But that doesn't mean that... Like, this could be an accidental discovery of something incredible. No! You skunked me! You skunked me like we're playing cribbage at Grandma's house. It's okay. I'm not sweating that we... That was a transitionary round. Next round gives us... Some we got a tier six already. We got tons of gold. Give me this. Roll me. We are vulnerable to skunks right now. No doubt about that. Roll me again. We're not vulnerable to chocolates, though. Very nice. We'd love to have another scaler in here. I don't think it's going to be tiger. I mean, cow is just always a beautiful purchase. It would suck if, the, if it got one of the dragonfly buffs, but, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. I'm not going to cry about it one way or the other. Might not be worth taking the cow to... It did take a buff, but it might not be worth taking the cow to level 2 via chocolate, but but it might be. It might be. Are there, is there a catfish this week? Dude, I got to level with you. I think we genuinely have a good chance. I think we got enough scaling. Can always work a different unit to the front once the baboon gets there. You know what? You do it like this, then you do it like this. You get the enhanced milk right off the get-go and start start feeding you a little bit. You take one of those. I also kind of can't believe the way that I'm doing this, but but here we are. Why don't you... Honestly, let's do it like this. Because the baboon can get a buff from the dragonfly, but the dragonfly can't get a buff from the baboon at this point. Our cow's already 12-14, which is kind of like a little insane with it. You really run in double shark. Like, I, I get your name Struggler here, but like, maybe just have some dignity. Have a shred of, of human decorum. It makes me sick, man. We just want to avoid over buffing. We also, and maybe this is like something I shouldn't concern myself with too much. We also want to avoid having so much vulnerability to like a single skunk. If all of our units, like there's some weeklies where it matters more than others, I'm kind of just coming up with this at runtime. It might not hold up to you know, statistical validity. But I do sort of feel like um, there's some weeks where like one skunk uh, can blow away a squad. This week, maybe it's one of those weeks. So the wider we build our squad, the more resilient we are to, to one of the more obvious counters. Come on. Bro, come on. Good stuff. Thank you. That's good stuff. That's what I'm looking for. Cow me. Do have a cow, man. No offense, Bart Simpson. You idiot. We could easily not go to 10. I'm saying that for me. Just to not get my expectations up too much. We could easily not go to 10. But we could also easily go to 10. It's a beautiful two for one. It's The squad's looking strong. The squad is looking mighty. The squad is... Ooh, and you all laughed at me! <laughs> well, well, well. Just the way we drew it up. Five units that really don't do anything except add statistics. 
Hang on here. I got a, I got a message I got to reply to. Okay, okay. That's fine. Sheesh! What was I talking about? I was talking about sheesh. That's right. Good start today. You know what? Three marmosets. Marm me. Um, let me be a barbaric bagel. You know, you ever cut a bagel and it, um, you cut it wrong? So, like, instead of getting two beautiful circles, you get, like, one, like, circle that has, like, a topographical ramp on it. Barely fits in your toaster. And then the other one is, like, it's just the Wu-Tang Clan symbol. We put it into the toaster, the edges get burnt, the other side isn't even toasted at all. No, you take your time when you cut things? Okay, well, what's it like to be perfect? I didn't, I, I'm sorry. I didn't realize uh, that uh, your majesty was here. Rye guy 69 all the time. The Lord of the Legs? How did you know my exact Peloton profile? I, I can't not baboon. And a baboon that hits a dodo? It's the type of squad that makes the club get crunk. Let me get a, a cell. I'm, I'm not really interested in you unless we end up going dragonfly. And honestly, it looks like we might. Now, we, I'm going doorhead ant, though, because doorhead ant clears dodo. Dodo gets the buff, though. So maybe the, do the doorhead ant is still a nice unit to have. It certainly beats uh, green beetle. We gotta remember, don't get in the habit of not putting your strong unit up at the front, man. Or of, of putting your strong unit up at the front, because it just gets killed by mods in the early game. That's Dragonfly tech. Not interested. You need this. You need to go to the front. Then you'd possibly beat modded up units. Dodo with Doorhead Ant could also work for sure. And we spread out our buffs like a like a fool. Like a chump, eh? Just let me draw. I would be... We're not going to draw. We're going to lose to a snail. It's the same squad. How, how could we be so much worse with the same squad? Now we're looking for a tier 3 to get a baboon buff. I don't... Flycatcher is interesting. I don't think it's quite my tempo. I mean, I hate to just run back like a similar squad, but... You can't deny that, um, you know, the guinea fowl do be doing something. It has some utility. We didn't, we're not popping off as well as we popped off last time, though. That's for sure. What is this? A squad for ants? Oh, my God. It's going to clear me so easily. It's like the same team, but I'm, I'm doing ten times worse. Don't give me my level yet. You know what? You're gone. I know I just invested so much in you. Grab something for econ. We're going to have to play out of our gourd on this one to get anywhere. I mean, I don't know, man. I, 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 I honestly don't know. Get, let me get a baboon running with a little bit of uh, a meat on it because it's probably going to stick around. The baboon may be the most underrated unit this weekly. I, I've made the least good use of the doorhead ant that has ever been seen in Super Auto Pets history here. Oh my god, we're gonna be off by one. Like a like an assignment that you get a B minus on in first year programming. Like the most common error you see when you uh, have an array. Okay, you're you're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. I'm sorry. The shark must exist, and then we want to see a tier four. It's a useful tier four for our current purposes. Go ahead and grab this. The shark possibly allows us to bail out. We've gone all in on shark strats. If you're going to go all in on a unit, the shark is like, it's one of the best for sure. But we have such a thin margin of error here that like, it's admittedly like potentially catastrophic. But okay, two wins. So we're not, we're embarrassed, but we're not like obliterated. She takes some of that. Eggplant on the front unit, kind of a flex for sure. Just, that's all right. I don't like getting useful things anyway. Um, okay, I'm going psycho mode. It is temporarily going to make our shark worse, but it's instantly going to make our deer better. And then starting on future rounds, it'll make our scaling better as well. But this is a heavy risk to take with one life left. 
Certainly got a lot of a lot of equipment on their side here. Got a lot of equipment. And yet I'm looking at this and I'm feeling I'm feeling okay. We successfully made the jump. Now we're we're only mildly embarrassed. No longer extremely embarrassed, just a mild embarrassment. It's not really the tier six I'm looking for. We need to get something a little more transformative if we're going to have a good chance. It is a 412, though. I guess depending on what I see here, I would be willing to just give it a chance. And then you're about to give two four. Nobody's really swimming in attack. If anything, I'm like the, the baboons kind of swimming in attack because of the meats. I mean, the Marmoset, at some point, it would be good to replace it with a skunk. But right now, I think we need, need the Marmoset stats. I don't th and the, the honey is also, like, it's pretty mission critical. This is the end, isn't it? It's all, it's all going down. It's Jover, as they say. It's a horrendous off by one as well. Okay, well, it just goes to show you, uh, insanity is doing the same thing twice and expecting uh, the same result. Why don't you give me this? You give me that. You're okay. You're good enough. Good enough to party, as far as I'm concerned. Give me something like that. Um, maybe like a sticky cucumber. I'm past the silly jacket phase of my life. I'm, I guess unless I continued my teaching career, in which case I'd be right back at it. But now, would you look at that? Just order difference. Teachers do be wearing silly jackets sometimes. Teachers be like, "Oh, come on, guys." You're really going to talk back to me on silly hair day? <laughs> this was supposed to be a fun day for all of us to enjoy our silly little hair. By the way, don't embarrass yourself. Oh, let me guess, NL. You never were a big fan of silly hair day. I wonder why. Some ways I had the silliest hair of all. Male pattern baldness in the 11th grade. But this, this... It's very unfortunate. We're, we're off tempo. I think you just embrace the potentiality of losing this round to get your tempo next round or in two rounds. But we're like, you know what? At least we didn't get shoved in a baboon trap or something like that. What do you mean by that? Well, I do be taking the baboon a lot. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know if that's always the best option for us. I accept my, my loss there. I accept an Osprey for some economy, for some economics. I, I, I do. I, I'm sorry to tell you that I do accept a baboon. But it's not going to do anything here. So I'd rather have a 1-3 out there than a 1-2, as crazy, as crazy as that sounds. We'll combine our ladybugs. We'll start buffing the Osprey. Things said moments before disaster. Listen, I didn't think that this squad was amazing. We're basically regenerating like a 1-1 dog in Alpha, but we got that dog in us, apparently. What about, like, you're just not that good. What if we buy a bab? What if we sold a beetle? No. First, what if we bought a salad bowl? It didn't hit a beetle, which is what I was planning for, but I, I'm happy the ladybug got the stats anyway. We know we're buying a baboon. Beetle had their chance. Porcupine moves up here. And maybe you keep the ladybug rolling just as, a, uh, just as an opportunity here. And then we're buffing an osprey. We should have put the moth at the front. Or the baboon would be a great unit at the front, actually. Actually, the math worked out super nicely. We got really lucky. Royal Flycatcher is going to be annoying, but it's, it's not going to be annoying enough to really do too much. Okay, I'm feeling better. We've already got our Tier 4 set up for when the, uh, for when the, the, the baboon ticks up a shop tier. It's, it, it's an old reference, sir, but it checks out. Hang on. Prioritize this for enemy random abilities. I snooze it. I'm not really worried about getting this guy to level two. Like, if I'm being honest, Osprey, it's with no disrespect that I say this to you. You're just here to fill space for now. I do appreciate that you're a 6'8". That would also work really well for, like, a middle school basketball team. No doubt about it.
And yet, and yet, it's been the most valuable porcupine that we've ever had. That takes us to five wins. Not really interested in a whale here. I, a sea lion is just, it's not my preferred buffer. I think we're in a great chance to take a skunk. And then I, I recognize that we're going to be um, over buffing. Like we're, we're going to be spreading buffs out possibly. But the ladybug and the osprey are both get riddable. So just toss me a skunk. Um, bet we want it like that. Toss me a skunk just because it's a great unit. And I would definitely say that this is really spreading things out. But scaling, I mean... Quantity has a quality all of its own. I believe that's a super auto pets quote. Referring to the magnitude of your of your stats. Hang on, hang on. Did this work out well? No, not at all. <laughs> Definitely feel like that was a, a bit of a, a risky pivot, but it doesn't have to work out immediately, it just has to work out eventually. I'm going crazy. Porcupine served this purpose. Give me the double baboon buff. He must be crazy. The double baboon buff. That maneuver hasn't been attempted since uh, both of the last two runs that he's done. But look at how quickly this skunk got going, man. With, with no equipment or anything to show for it whatsoever. This is... I don't even need to talk about this one. This one's obviously a loss. But with exactly the right subset of items and animals on the shop, we're so back. That's not a so back moment. This is a so back moment. You getting to tier three makes a dragonfly better. I mean, if you'll allow it, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna sell the unit that would get to tier three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to create a big scorpion. I'm gonna create a level two skunk. I'm going to sell the dragonfly. I mean, this is just madness now. I'm going to run a lioness. <laughs> and I'm going to give the skunk some bonuses. Um, I think that we're not doing a smart action here. But it is kind of funny. Okay, we, we at least blew up your elephant. But then the rest, I mean, you got a, an enormous dog coming out there. We're going to be on zero H or one HP, not zero, thankfully. We really only lost by a single snail. Just keep that in mind. It's not all is not lost yet. It just is pretty bad. We certainly don't need another scorpion. Snails like the nuclear option. You know what I'm willing to do? I'm willing to front load some of the snails or some of the, uh, the scorpion stats here. I think this would be a little miraculous. Oh, oh he stole the buff. <laughs> stole the buff, the buff I got for. Stole the, you're still having fun. Yet he stole the buff. Would you look at that? We lived and we got Lioness Alpha to, to show for it. You need to level. My word. Two lionesses. I mean, this is more of a squad that I think you're kind of excited to roll if you have not lost your last run. Or if you're not on one life, rather, would be a better descriptor. But but we're still having fun. And you're still the one. Shark's always a problem. Shark's, uh, shark's often a problem. Ooh! <laughs> Now, don't be ashamed or afraid to pivot off of some of these units that are not doing that much now. Like your scorpion, you could probably just do better. Tomo, do you want to go to the bathroom, by the way? Is that, what you're, is that why you're over here? There you go. Like, I would, at this point, even though you are giving a buff, another lion that's just purchased from the shop gives us a better buff. So you got to go. I would definitely put you out here. And just to be straight up with you, this has to go to the skunk, in my opinion. You cr create death touch and are a better unit than the scorpion, which makes you better than the scorpion. Orca just has some, it has a little alpha here. I understand the, the potential pain of taking a lioness out of the rotation. 
I mean, you still have to buy the Orca because you need, you can't replace the whole shop here. You roll once. Oh my God. <laughs> This, it, it looks better, I think, in the shop than it actually is, but that is pretty good. I still feel like we're in trouble. Like, we get bodied by equipment. We have no equipment. The skunk reducing HP is obviously, like, insanely great. And the death touch we receive, I guess, now that I think about it, did quite a number on them as well. I actually feel like the, the most sensible play is you go double death touch to help make up for our equipment deficit. And then honestly, I'm so I'm so sorry to the cow. I think you have to sell the cow and run Pteranodon so that everybody gets death touch. And then we can't even run the skunk. And that's okay. I, I, we'll take the skunk next time. It's likely to matter, but it's less likely to matter than spitting out four death touch instead of one. Oh my god, we got so lucky with the mathematics. And we may actually squeeze out a 10-piece here. I'm not saying it's guaranteed, because it's definitely not. But it's like, holy cow. <laughs> we don't actually need any more of you. Um, it's, it's more than, like, a theoretical possibility. Like, it's actually... I wouldn't say it's likely, necessarily, but... I wouldn't necessarily say it's unlikely either, honestly. I mean, the, the Pteranodon, like, completely changed the game. We're gonna get 10. And it's like, we, we got there, it actually was easy at the end of the day. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you think it was a like button, it was a great deal. He's cracked or horrible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!